Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I am going to be testing out the new ColourPop That's Taupe palette. Now I always get confused here, is it taupe or taupe? I guess it depends on where you live, how you say it, but I say taupe, I hope that's okay. <laughs> Now I have been on the hunt over the last month or so for a cool tone palette and I just couldn't find one that I liked. I wanted something with some lighter cool tone shades and I found that a lot of the palettes marketed as cool toned had a lot of dark cool tone shades and I was just not here for that. And then Natasha Denona released that beautiful, I'm pretty sure it's called the Glam palette and I was like this close to buying it. But I still, like it hurt a little thinking of spending over, like I think it's $115 on an eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, I haven't heard like rave reviews on the Natasha Denona formula, so I was a bit iffy. And then Colourpop read my mind and released the That's Taupe palette. Straight away I went onto the Colourpop website and bought it. I love that it has a range of lighter cool tone shades, but also has the two deeper tones and then a beautiful range of shimmers. This, this is what I was after. Now the palette comes with nine shades, five matte and four shimmer, and it retails for 14 US dollars. If you're from Australia like me, this converts to roughly 20 Australian dollars. Now you do have to pay for shipping, which is $10 US, but if you do spend over $60 US, you get free shipping. All right, let's get into this. I am so excited. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. I love the snake print with the little gold reflex. Now, I think I might start out with some swatches just to get a feel for the shades. All right, so here are the shades. We've got the first row, the second row, and the third row. They all feel very smooth and buttery. The shimmers especially glide on so beautifully. I'm excited to dip into those. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the shade Python. So I have put concealer on my lids and set them with powder. Okay, first things first, it's not really blending as easily as I thought it would. This shade Python does build up though, so it is looking a bit darker than what it does in the pan. I'm going to swap brushes for something more fluffy, and I'm going to use that just to try and blend these edges a little more and get that shade to go further. Okay, that definitely helps. I think I'm going to go in with a lighter shade actually. I'll use this shade Pebble Beach to blend out the edges of Python. Okay, I really like that shade. I feel like the Python shade is looking a little patchy in different areas. So because I've built it up, it's like where there's more color, it looks a bit more gray. I don't know if you can see the difference, but down here it's got more of a brown shade and through the crease it's more gray. I'm going to go in with the shimmer shade Snake Eyes and put this in the center of the lid. And then I think I'll use Slated for the inner corner. Oh my God, that is so beautiful.
The shade Slated seems to be pressed a little differently. I did notice it was a little messy in the pan when I first received it, but when I press it with the brush, it has more of a soft, creamy texture. Like it moves around in the pan, whereas the other shimmer didn't. I'm just taking Pebble Beach and running this all the way under the lower lash line, and then I'll deepen up the outer corner with Python. Okay, so I have finished my eyes and I've got a few thoughts. First of all, I just, I love all the shades in the palette, okay? They are all speaking to me and I am very excited to continue to use this and play with the other shades. Now, the shade Pebble Beach worked really well. This shade here, Python, eh, I'm a little iffy on. So even doing the other eye, I noticed when first applied, it comes off a nice brown shade, but once you keep building and blending, it does turn into a more gray, kind of purple tone. It's still a pretty shade, but a little bit different to what I was expecting. The shimmer shades worked beautifully, and from swatching them on my arm, I think the other ones are going to be amazing as well. I will definitely include this palette in one of my quick reviews videos coming up. So if you wanna hear more thoughts on it, then keep an eye out for that. I think if you're a cool tone lover, then you will like this palette. And if you are like me and have been wanting to dip into cool tones more, but are not ready to spend the big bucks, then this is also a great option. Well, that is all from me today, guys. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram as well. I will have my name on the screen and a link down below. Everything I've used on my face will also be listed down below but if you have any other questions please leave me a comment and that is all i hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are and i'll see you in the next one bye